Here we can see that um, for PSI 5.5 of the blue laser, a 710 emission uh, bandpass filter in front, we have this nice negative, this nice positive here. And the compensation can be f performed quite easily if you have a very bright flu signal like this and lots of uh, cells that are positive um, and you have a nice negative population. And here you can see we go from this uncompensated um, uh, dot plot here to this compensated dot plot. We know that these antigens are mutually exclusive and so it's a matter of aligning the, um, the, the positive mean with the negative and the positive mean here with the negative. That doesn't happen always and what we then need to do is after setting up your experiment on, uh, basic, uh, um, on your basic cells, you then have to run fluorochromes attached to antibody capture beads so that you get a good positive bright signal um, for each fluorochrome. Um, for these particular beads, they have anti-capper on the surface and they attach the antibody via the kappa light chain and the fluorochrome is exhibited here and then you have a, a beautifully bright bead with a specific fluorochrome on its surface. So the, the calculation of the, of the spillover and the fluorochrome combination rules are weak antigen, use a bright fluorochrome, Differentiate between compensation and data manipulation, as in the PSI-5 scenario. If a fluorochrome is excited more than, by more than one laser, you need to evaluate it if it is usable in your multicolor experiment. Always evaluate percentages of antigens by single color controls. This is very important. If you're setting up a 10 color experiment, then run your single color controls for each of those 10 antigens Make sure you know roughly what those 10 antigen positive values are, and then when you run your multicolor experiment, make sure that once you've added all 10 colors together, you're getting more or less those same percentages. And the lower the compensation value within your experiment, the more stable your experiment will be. After each multicolor experiment, this is the single multicolor difference in percentage for each of the fluorochromes, i.e. each of the antigens, and you must check that they're in concordance. You don't have any uh, large errors. So compensation, if you have high compensation values, you will increase the inst instability of the um, uh, experiment and the instrument fluorescent intensity, i.e. the ability for the intensity um, within those uh, photomultiplier tubes, um, the monitoring becomes critical. Low compensation, then the instrument fluorescent intensity monitoring 